Hey, Clapping and Lies Math and History, and we are gonna go off tangent. We're gonna be learning how to simplify complex fractions. So in the previous video, we've been learning all about the unit circle. We've also been learning on how to describe each angle m to the side in a right triangle on the unit circle. But there was one problem with doing so. If you look at the tangent, the tangent looks a little bit messy. We have 2 as a radical divided by 2, divided by again, negative 2 <laughs> radical divided by 2, which you can't really do. Yeah, it is the right answer, but right over here, you can't really do that. It's not a formal way at a pre-calculus level to solve that problem. So what we gotta do is we gotta somehow simplify that. So the reason why we're literally going off tangent is because many kids in our pre-cal class never learned how to simplify complex fractions. Even though it may seem complex, it's actually easier than you think. Here's why. So right over here are two complex fractions. Why are they called that? Well, if you notice that one of them, this complex fraction has a fraction divided by another fraction which it makes a lot of sense because you literally have a fraction inside of a fraction which <laughs> so what we gotta do is find some kind of way to simplify so we would force this to divide by one and that will get us to our final answer so if we try to do this we can get rid of the denominator by multiplying by the opposite reciprocal. Well, just the reciprocal. So if you multiply both sides by 2 radical 3, and then this has to be 2 radical 3. This would be radical 6 at over radical 6, which they cancel out. So it becomes the number 1 right here. And we have right here 1 half and then 2 radical 3 as a divisor. Our final answer would be 2 divided by 2 radical 2, or 2 radical 3. But this is a better option because you don't need the 1, because when you divide by 1, it's by itself. So our final answer, 2 divided by 2 radical 3, is our final answer. So that would be a much better solution for a pre-calculus level. What about this one right here? We have 1 divided by radical 3 over 2. We can multiply both sides by here's 2 and then divide by radical 3. It will say radical 6 divided by radical 6. They cancel out and they become 1. But when we multiply 2 over radical 3, then we'll literally say 2 over radical 3 divided by 1. We can get rid of the number 1, and our final answer is 2 radical 3 in this case scenario. So, yeah, it's still a fraction, but at least it's not a complex fraction. <laughs> so, yeah, I hope this video has helped you understand going off tangent, simplifying complex fractions. Thank you for watching Taoping Airlines Math Industry. Like and subscribe.